So I wanted to like quickly mention a few things that we've been doing. And again, this is all like kind of an experiment. We're really just trying to figure out our place in this big community, um, learn, evolve, um, and uh, it's been really exciting. So uh, some of the things that we've been doing from the foundation this year, uh, we've, we've kind of focused on three different efforts. Um, so one effort is a program that we created ourselves uh, called Book Mode. And really simple, the premise is super simple. It's basically kids, need more exposure to books and the more ex we want kids to grow up learning uh, we want kids to grow up wanting to read for fun that reading is not just a thing that you do because you're forced to but it's it's a fun activity that that everyone should be doing um, so the more access they have to books the better so we're literally giving kids kindles that's the program um, so we've kind of done we're, we've done one round of this we're about to do a second round uh, where we take a class of second graders and we give each student in the class uh, a Kindle and they have access to thousands of books that Amazon gives you for free and it's just this awesome thing. So the more kids that have Kindles, the more kids will grow up learning uh, how to enjoy reading. Um, and like I said, we've done, we've done one round of this so far. We're going to do a second round uh, in November with the whole second grade class at Sierra House. And, uh, it's pretty cool. Operationally, it's cool as a foundation to like run a program and, and kind of learn how to how you know not only to like come up with an idea, but it's kind of a little bit of a it's a company journey as well to figure out how to organize everything and how to bring in support and how to um, work with all these different entities in the community. Um, the second initiative that we've been working on this year is a, a fellowship program. So we wanted to find ways to support. Uh, uh, college or high school grads that are going into college. Uh, so we created a, a fellowship program uh, where we gave scholarships out to uh, 10 high school students uh, that graduated high school this year. Um, and all 10 of those recipients are now uh, studying their first year of college. So it's really cool to see and we hope to kind of continue to do that each year. Um, and then the third uh, program that we've been implementing this year for the foundation is uh, a grant program. So we literally just, you know, in a nutshell, we literally just kind of opened up an application process for, pro, you know, people, programs, organizations, really anyone that wanted support for a program that kind of fit our mission. Um, they were eligible to apply. We got like 35 or 40 different submissions from like programs that were the, you know, fit the, the full spectrum of what you could do in this community. Um, everything from, you know, do some cool event on the weekend to support a foster care organization to some new after school program to some new um, uh, college prep uh, course at the high school. Really, all sorts of different great ideas. And that was kind of the purpose of this grant program. Um, and we uh, selected. Uh, a bunch of programs that that received uh, received uh, money, and now all these uh, organizations have uh, gotten the benefits of the grants. Um, one of the things that we've learned from the foundation uh, this year is that a lot of programs in Tahoe really need help. Like, it's not just like check writing is great, and giving them support is obviously always nice, but. We're really trying to work with all, a lot of these programs and organizations um, to help support them in addition to just the check writing. So like we're just finding a lot of commonalities amongst a lot of the folks that we're talking to. They need volunteers, they need more support, they need more, um, they need tech help. They, there's a lot of common patterns that we're finding um, that we could really help provide. So I think we're, we're really trying to not just, you know, be a financial support for all the, a lot of these programs, but um, be like an advisor and a mentor and bring some of our experience that we've that we've had in our uh, in our past careers um, so that is kind of what we've been up to in the foundation this year um, my partner Melissa Uppendahl uh, who also grew up in Tahoe uh, has, has we've been working on this for about a year so like I said it's really we're we're, we're learning and listening uh, but at the same time we want to we want to implement things and make an impact, and 
it's been very rewarding to do that. And especially as it relates to some of my experience, I want to really bring uh, some of the like kind of very different entrepreneurial experience that I experienced in San Francisco to a community like Tahoe. It's not all translatable, obviously. Um, you know, people are different here, motives are different here, but I think there's a lot of skills that can be brought uh, from the Bay that are really helpful for this community. So that's kind of it for me. Uh, I don't know if I want to open it up to questions, if anyone has any questions about my background 